So let me show you that on the other end. Vax one power. With toolkit. This is a one power blade four. And I brought uh, the blade two, Max blade two for my mother for her birthday. Well, it's time that I decided to get one. So this is the toolkit it comes with. Flexi curve tool, tough dirt tool, textile tool, and a stretch hose. Max, one power cordless, blade four, now, this is the fourth generation as such, and it's supposed to be like a replacement for uprights. Uh, they also come now with individual batteries. This is how it comes, packed, got the motor, attachments, the front head, I saw the battery somewhere there. Just open that like that. This back piece, attachments, head, register your product. If you buy direct, it's actually registered anyway. Head unit, it's reasonably straightforward. Here you've got the handle. And this mounts in the handle. So there's a few little stickers you can peel off. Here it says push the filter for access. Let's have a look at that. And you've got a filter in there. These usually can be washed. And then every once a year replace them. And to open this, you press that. And it drops open. Empty all your waste in there. Now to connect that is slide it in there. And then push down on the front, clunk, click. And then we get a nozzle. Click that in there. And then right at the end, we have this, which is at the right way up, and that's clicked in. So that's all connected. The battery here, there's a the charger, and that goes in the wall. I'm not sure if there is any charge in here. Well, the wrong way to find out. So, underneath here, this is where the battery goes. That literally just clips in. And to get it out again, you just squeeze there, like that. Let's see if there's any power. Well, as you saw there, there's one light. Some people say, because this is sucking at the moment and you can't see it, but that blade is not spinning round. And how you do that is by pressing this here. So let me show you that on the other end. So you can literally use it just to suck. If you want to do the ceilings like cobwebs, you don't need a brush, you can just suck. And then, so just the, this power thing's fine. If you want to do the carpets, then you will press this to do the, spin the brush. Now this one usually turns the power up, so I'm going to see if that actually makes the power go up or not. As you can see, it went red. 
this is because the battery hasn't really got enough charge to sustain that. So these batteries need charging and that's going to take about three hours, which if you've got a spare battery, then you can carry on and that's fine. Let me put this on charge. So I've plugged it in the wall and we've got a light that blinks slowly. What you need to do is to make sure you push this down firmly. Uh, so the red light you saw a second ago must have mean there's an error. But I've pushed it down quite firmly this time. Now it's got the white light coming on there and the two at the top. They're all blinking together, so that's how it should be when it's charging. Once it's fully charged, the lights all go out. There's four lights fully charged. So now when I turn this on and then press the plus, it should better go all the way. On. And as you can see, it already went to the four lights saying it's fully charged. And if we turn it on and then press the plus, we'll get some extra power. Now what it was, you could hear this sucking harder. I don't think it actually done anything to do with the brush at the end. So I think that should be fine. As you can see, I've changed it to the, the nozzle. And personally, I have, it's uh, lightweight. I don't have a problem pushing it up to the corners. The only thing I've always disliked a little bit about the handle is where you put your hand. It's easy to knock the power button um, and things like that. I think they probably could have done it up this end a bit more, but even then your thumb's there. So maybe it's just a difficult thing to design. But I always found it a little bit of an issue, but I've but only knowing using it a few times, better see how I get on with it. This comes with the Vax Cordless Pro Kit 2 if you order direct from Vax online. On the paperwork, it calls it a premium toolkit. Let's have to turn the light on here. So we've got a hard brush. That's very hard. The difference in color compared to the others. This has got a light inside, light gray, and it's dark brown outside. And that's even harder. That's Actually, no, it's not. It's, it's not wire wool. It's kind of softer. And then this is a flexi tool. So it doesn't actually flex along the length. It's more to do with the end. It can also be extended. A little rubbery, a little rubbery end, sort of softer. And I've managed to extend it like double its length. So that's quite a long one. Now the flexi hose looks quite nice. I thought it was going to be all horrible and clear, but it seems to be quite good. And that's to give you flex. Um, you know, a bit of versatility for those who want a hose. And it all comes, it comes with a little bag at the back here. If you want to put it all in a little bag, as you can see, carry bag. Just to add on to that, this one here, or should I say this tough one, actually fixes on to this, it clips in, it clips in and then down, like that, and then that gives, it's basically quite good that because it's saving plastic and resources and it still does the same job so yeah that's quite good so i have all three vacuum cleaners that i've currently got all lined up together 
they're all the same height which is obviously a standard now the thing uh, sort of noticed here is this the width of this now this is a Dyson that I have been using and this has an adjustable max or whatever level carpets and down there there's a little skirt which goes up or down uh, this one doesn't have that uh, this is the cheapest one out of the lot but there's a fair bit of width difference there if I put it to the end we can see it's about two inches let's try that on the other one put that on the end and there's about an inch 